Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. To those who are new, hi, hello, my name is Paula, and here in our channel, we talk all about perfumes. To those returning, my returning viewers, my regulars, my subscribers, and to my new subscribers, thank you so much for the continued love and support. Today is a haul video where I'll be sharing with you guys three new perfumes that I added to my perfume collection. But before I move on to that, I would like to remind you guys that if you love anything and everything about perfumes, and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, and when you do subscribe, don't forget to click the notification bell because doing so lets you know every time I put up a new content. And if you like today's video and all my other videos, don't forget to click the like button and also let yourself be heard down in the comment section below. purchased these scents in the middle of October from a friend that I know from Instagram and her name is Skincare Scents so I will be linking her account down below and um, she just recently did a declutter of fragrances that she hasn't been really reaching much for so she sent me a DM and asked me if I was interested in some of the fragrances that she was planning on selling and I ended up choosing three fragrances from her collection and these are fragrances that I have never tried before from houses I've never tried before except for one where I own only one from that house. So anyway, these are fragrances that she decided to just pass over to other people that might enjoy them more. So I ordered these ones in the middle of October and I received them at the end of November, beginning of December. And I am going to start with something that I was super excited to try because I saw Abby from Abby Would Love talk about this fragrance in particular. So this is from the House of Shea and Blue. This is a Black Tulip. So I haven't tried anything from Shea and Blue and I have heard a lot about um, Salt and Caramel because I know Emmy from Emmy's World of Fragrance talked about that one. And when Abby from Abby Would Love um, did her video about soft skin scent fragrances, she featured this one and I already purchased or I already ordered this one from um, Marjorie or Skincare Sense on Instagram and was super excited. So I have never tried anything from this house as I mentioned and I think it's really cute like the bottle how they look and they come in this box as well. So anyway this fragrance from Abby's description I know this one is going to be good and it's going to be something really nice and something I can wear to work but I don't really know how I feel about that wearing this one to work because this is this isn't really as light as or a skin scent kind of scent on my skin. I don't really know the exact notes or the exact um, arrangement of notes in the pyramid. I'm going to be putting the notes down below. Um, but I know this one has cyclamen and snowdrops and it has tulip and um, white chocolate. So that was one of the notes when I when Marjorie showed me this fragrance from her collection that she was planning on decluttering. So I searched this one on Fragantica and found that this one has white chocolate and those florals and the white chocolate just made me, you know, decide to get this one. So yes, it has white chocolate and woody notes, I think in the base. And I didn't have any expectations on this fragrance because when I purchased these fragrances, I just wanted to try them out and I didn't really have any expectations at all. So for this one, I was super surprised when I smelled what I smelled in here. So my first impressions of this was that this one smells like smelling a soda or something like a carbonated drink, something very green floral. And in the dry down of this one, because I have been wearing this one more than a couple of times, just here at home, because I tried wearing this one at work, but when I tried this at home, I realized that I, this is something that I cannot pull off at work. So anyway, in the dry down, I do get that um, a creamy white chocolate, but I don't get the immediate white chocolate. I guess you just get the creaminess or the smoothness from the white chocolate in this fragrance. and. I don't really get a lot of woody notes in here as well. A lot of green florals is what I get and something very fizzy, something very sparkly and smooth and sweet in the base. So the reason why I cannot wear this at work is I work in the metal field and I know I'm not supposed to wear fragrances, but I just do. But um, I cannot wear this at work because this is very deceiving. So I sprayed this one. I was like, okay, this is a very nice skin scent. This is very light. But what I noticed with this one is that when I spray this on myself and when I leave the room or when I come back, it fills up the whole room. So this has a tendency to project a lot on my skin. So I don't know how it is with other people. Or if you guys have tried this, let me know. But on my skin, I do notice that, okay, at first, like the first... 30 minutes or one hour, I just feel like I didn't spray anything on my skin. It's very light, it's a beautiful beautiful green floral, and I thought, yes, I could pull this off at work, but I couldn't because after an hour or two, this tends to, I don't know, this tends to project, or this tends to like warm up on my skin and I get more of the green florals. And this one is 
too strong for work in my kind of work but this one is a beautiful scent and based on my experience with this fragrance not knowing anything about the whole scent and not researching enough about it and decided to um, blind buy it anyway and i really liked it first impressions and when i wore this fragrance and it's actually a very pleasant scent but then again if you are not into green florals and something very sharp then i would not recommend you blind buying this one and this one it was a pre-loved scent or like marjorie didn't reach much for this fragrance and this is almost full maybe she just sprayed this one once or twice and I'm so lucky to have this. This one is another beautiful addition to my floral um, perfume collection. I noticed that very recently I have been reaching for or have been looking for more floral fragrances, which I don't really have much. I mean, of course, there are florals in most of our perfumes or my perfumes in my perfume collection, but I don't really have very um, floral forward scents. And this is a beautiful addition to my floral wardrobe. So this is the first one that I added to my collection. This is Shea and Blue's Black Tulip. Next one that I have is my second fragrance from the house of Mugler and this is I don't know how to pronounce this you guys Eau Crocier 2020 so this is the fig one so I only have Angel Muse EDT from the house of Mugler and I never would have thought of buying this one number one because it's so hard to find angel fragrances or Mugler fragrances um, here and in our website we only have the angel one which I smelled before and I, I'm okay with it I love it but I don't feel like I need it in my collection so um, I've heard that the 2019 version or the mango one is the one that is super hyped on YouTube and I think because that one is also a lot harder to find but anyway this one I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this before I got this, now I know that um, AI the Great loves this one. She just recently um, included this in her um, latest video. So I'll link her channel down below. So this one, I have, yeah, I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this one. And um, maybe I have, but they weren't really liking this um, flanker in particular because they thought it was maybe like, it wasn't really special. That's what I heard. So, but for me, this one was an immediate attraction. So this was the first one that I opened when I got the package because I was so excited about this. So when I first sprayed this, my first impression was, okay, it's really sweet. Um, there's something green in here and there's something green, grassy, but fruity as well. Citrusy on top. And I thought that this one was a little bit too synthetic when I first sprayed this to be honest, and it kind of reminds me of like um, fresheners or like air fresheners or car fresheners or something like that. Because it's like, I don't know, like there's something in this scent, but I really liked it when I first smelled this. And um, I immediately posted a photo on Instagram and Moon Perfumes actually messaged me or commented in my photo and asked me, I think she messaged me, she sent me a DM and asked me if I get coconut in this scent. And I said, I can't remember because I, when I got this, I sprayed all of them first, this one, and I sprayed all of them at once and I got samples as well. So anyway, I told her, okay, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to spray it again, but I don't remember getting the coconut when I first sprayed this because she said coconut is not listed, but she gets the coconut in this scent. So when I spray that again, I told her, yes, I do get that um, hint of coconut, that it's not exactly the coconut fruit, but the coconut cream. And I sent her a DM, yes, I do get the coconut, it's very faint. So I have been using this one ever since I got this and I have been spraying it in my room as well, in my clothes. This is something I can't wear at work, but I really enjoy this one here at home. And so last week, I think it was last week, I just sprayed this on, on my arm and I sprayed this on my son's arm. And he was like, and I asked him, what do you get in this fragrance? And he said, he gets coconut. And it's so weird because he got the coconut as well, like sweet coconut, he said. And Moon Perfumes got the coconut, which I didn't really get when I first sprayed this one. one just like with my Angel Muse EDT, this is also an EDT as well. This lasts very well on my skin and on my clothes as well. So I would say moderate six to eight hours and it can even go beyond that if I like really overspray, but then again, I wouldn't overspray this one, even though I'm an oversprayer because this can be too much. So I really love this. This was an immediate attraction and I love my second um, perfume from the house of Mugler. So this is Angel Eau Crochet 2020 Fig. 
I can't pronounce that. The third one that I have, I was super excited that she decided to declutter it because I know I can grab it because um, it's so hard finding fragrances. The, this uh, fragrances from this house here in Iceland. And um, this is Atelier Cologne Atelier, Atelier Cologne. And this is Cafe Tuberosa. This one, Cafe Tuberosa, they, they, they are the two words or like music to my ears, especially right now because I'm looking for like a coffee fragrance and then this one has tuberose as well So, you know, I you guys know I love tuberose now. So, um, yeah, I was super excited to try this and This one is also full as well So, you know, these fragrances that I got from Marjorie or skincare sense They are like almost full. Maybe she just sprayed them like twice or three times. So anyway this one cafe tuberosa I I have to say I was super shocked when I sprayed this one. So I sprayed this one last out of the three. I was shocked. So the first sniff of this one, the first spray, I almost choked. I almost died because that was the strongest coffee scent I have ever smelled like in a perfume. And I just sprayed like maybe two sprays on my arm and I just sniffed that there. And yeah, I almost choked because because this just smells like someone splashed a cup of coffee in your face. So beautiful coffee scent. It's like dark coffee, I would say, like black coffee with a little bit of brown sugar in there. But then you immediately get the floral. So it's not just a black coffee or it's not just a coffee scent because you immediately get the floral. So it's just like coffee flowers. So, and I really love this. I was shocked in the beginning. I have to admit that first impressions were like, Ugh! but then when I got the florals, I really love it. It has sweet florals in here and I still get the coffee. And again, it's like black coffee with brown sugar and then you get the white florals. So I really like this one. Spiced black coffee with brown sugar and a little bit of chocolate syrup. That's what I get and a bunch of florals. So I can't use this one to work and I can't no I can't so I would reserve this one for like um like dressier occasions but not super formal something like smart casual or something yeah so anyway I'm gonna look up the notes in this one because I don't know this one has Dillian Mandarin bergamot and cardamom so Guatemalan cardamom Calabrian bergamot and Sicilian Mandarin so I guess the spiced coffee or that spice that I get is from the cardamom and the mandarin and the bergamot. I don't really get something citrusy. I guess it just mixes with the florals in here. So in the middle notes, you have your coffee and your tuberose and it also has rose oil. So yeah, it's not just a tuberose kind of scent. Yeah, I get the rose thing here. Rose thing? Yeah. And in the base, this one has cacao pod and Madagascar vanilla. So yeah. That was a perfect description, I would say. I really like this one. This is my very first one from Atelier Cologne. And um, when I asked Marjorie, I, she was one of the very first that I talked about um, uh, when it comes to fragrances because we met through Instagram. And I asked her about um, niche fragrances that I could try when I wanted to dip my toes into niche fragrances. And this brand or this house was the one that she um, uh, suggested because they are fairly pleasant and not really super challenging for people that are just trying to try niche fragrances and the only thing is that they are kind of hard to find i went to their website when she told me like months ago and they don't ship here so um yeah they're kind of hard to find and i do know that some maybe websites that ship here like lucky scent i don't know if they have this house or twisted lily but um yeah so far the very first one that i have from this house I really like it, but I do know why this can be something that some people would have to think more about and not really love it immediately because that coffee in there really hits you in the face. It's a strong coffee and then it immediately get the floral. So if you are not really into um, tuberose fragrances or like more of the spicier kind of um, fragrances, then the, this, I mean, like these are the kind of fragrances that you would really have to um, test out first so I say that but you know I'm not really I don't really follow or I don't um, do what I preach because I blind by most of my fragrances and I tend to um, 
buy full bottles or blind buy full bottles even from niche or indie um, houses only because I'm just thinking of the cost um, because I, if I buy samples, for example, um, they would just cost as much as buying a full bottle when it comes to um, taxes and duties and all of that. So that's just me, but I don't really recommend you guys doing that. But before I end today's video, I would just like to tell you guys that I won a giveaway. I think it was in August or September. I won a giveaway by Francis or Happiness Sparkles. And I got this one um, last month, I think or three weeks ago, I forgot. I finally got this one in the mail and it was super excited because I won this beautiful um, knitted um, hat from her. So they do have, I'm gonna put the details down below. So this is Nora Knits. So it is a small local business. They are based in Ontario, Canada, and I'm gonna put the details down below. And this one is very, very nice, you guys. I had to put this one back because i've been wearing this so i just wanted to show you guys how they come so it's like this i chose like a black um color with those little white and brown things because this one is a very wearable color because i wear almost black all the time and it has this very cute detail here and k for nora knits and my son really loves this one he wants to get it for himself but you get that and the pom-pom in here the pom-pom is removable. So if you wash the um, um, hat or the bonnet, you don't have to put the pom-pom in because you're going to ruin the fluffy, fluffy little ball. So this one, yeah, okay, I'm just going to have to wear this one when I end my video. So maybe my thumbnail too, I'm going to have this. And Frances did not just give me this one when I want a giveaway. She also gave me gifts. So I got a decant of Garland's terracotta and... This one is beautiful, you guys. The, the label just kind of rubbed off because this was leaking. But then I asked her, what were, what did you send me? What is this beautiful white floral of a fragrance that you sent me? And she said, it's Girl on Suricata. And I know that she has been loving this one. And she has the EDP, I think. And this one is kind of hard to find, I think, because this one is discontinued. But in other um, countries, they are easier to find. But here in Europe, I don't know, it's like kind of hard to find. And I can't find this one on Fragrance X, for example. But this one is really beautiful. So I will be savoring this decant. And she also gave me a travel roller ball of Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. And I told, she asked me, I'm going to include a sample. What kind of sample would you want? And I asked her, surprise me. And she included this one. I have been secretly wanting this one because I've seen this in a lot of videos, especially last summer and way, way before that. This one is in like an easy reach, a beautiful floral, a beautiful clean scent. And I might get this one. This one is also included in my um, spring and summer wish list. So I really like this. This is the um, Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. So that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, this is a rather long video, but you know, you know, I talk a lot. So I share with you guys my three full bottles that I got and this one that I won from a giveaway and my two decants. So this is a haul slash gifts kind of video so tell me down below in the comment section you guys if you own any of the fragrances that i mentioned especially if you own this one tell me if you get you know the very um carbonated very fizzy um uh feel to this one and if you guys love angel for example and what you think about cafe tuberosa by atelier colognes that is it for today's video you guys if you love today's video don't forget to click the like button and also let yourself be heard as i said down in the comment section and do write some comments there in the comment section below thank you guys for watching if you have reached this far that means a lot to me as i always say have fun much love stay safe and see you on the next one